What is going on, everyone? Nathan coming back at you with a camera in focus for once, believe it or not. And we are back with our Nuzlocke here. We just came off perhaps the most historic and important Aegis slash sweep known to mankind. And we are owed in return a new Pokemon who can hopefully save us from this disastrous run so far. We might immediately end it because we're still only going to have three Mons here. But uh, I've got some ideas for the next run that might make things a little bit more balanced here. So let's get going right now. Um, we got 50 new Mons from the last video. Keep them coming. People are asking, like, I don't know if so-and-so has been done. I don't know if so-and-so has been done. Like, to be clear, you can repeat Pokemon. I think we've got about 30 Umbreons in here. Here's two Slackings next to each other. It's fine. We can stack as many as we want. I just want to get the biggest pool of Pokemon possible. We got about 50 new uh, submissions this last time, which is dope. And the more the merrier. So keep them coming. Give me all these cool ideas. And I did appreciate the uh, large amount of Landers and Ferrothorns this last time. That was... Very appreciated. I, I, I That was very nice. But let's see who we get next. We get 141. 141 is going to be Ditto. <laughs> with a very uh, unimpressed face. Not a hard mod to throw one by any means. Uh, we'll do this. And it's Choice Scarf. Although I wonder if, we, if we're trying to sweep an opponent 6. So I wonder if that's even necessary. I'll still go for it for now. And uh, it's not bold. It's, uh, what's the one that's, uh, da, 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 minus special attack. Oh, wait, no, we want relaxed because our speed doesn't matter because we're copying the speed. That's right. Okay, well, there we go. We'll get that off. Of course, transform for our boy here. And uh, let's see if Perry this can take us to another win. But like I said, it's probably going to be a quick one and done as we get on to the next Nuzlocke here. My ideas for the next one, pretty basic. I just think that, again, if, if I'm doing a Nuzlocke of Pokemon Emerald, I don't know off the top of my head how many routes and how many like new Mons you get. But my suspicion would be that you get, hmm, there's no way Aegislash is going to take a Landorus hit right now. But if you get Yubi, you have a chance of getting crunched. Or you have a chance of getting hit with a Fire Blast. So let's do this. Why not? Uh, not the matchup we super want to see, but I'll run it. We're probably losing this one. Maybe they'll knock off or something. Okay, we'll go to Ditto here. But sorry, just to finish the thought. Um, I, yeah, I, I think what we're going to do, because again, if you think about the average Nuzlocke, you have so many routes and so many Mons, um, that I, I, I think it's fair for me to give myself about double what we had before. I was getting one new Mon a run. I think we're going to, again, double that to two per run. The death boost. Oh, maybe this guy will give me a dark type attack. Yes, I am for this. I am for this. No, what was I doing? I should have just gone straight up to my Aegis Lush. No, damn it. Oh, that sucks. So yeah, when we do the next run, I'm going to give myself two viewers of mons every time. And I might give myself a team of OU mons to start off. We'll see. At least three. At least three. I want to add the randomness. It's fun. I want to use your guys' stuff as much as possible. But doing it where I only get one mon per win and it's a viewer of mon is very difficult. <laughs> and I want to see how far we can get and have like a reasonable sort of challenge versus fun aspect to it all. Maybe this guy will EQ. I'm actually down for this. Yes. Oh, wow. You know, Lycan Rocks have strong ass Mon. I'm not shocked that that happened. Good stuff. It's probably an Excel Rock that would have definitely killed. Wasn't a true 6 0. Parry this. You're a legend. Honestly, one of the most legendary Mons we've ever had on the channel. Let's get the uh, crit. I don't even know crit would have done it. Again, a very confused opponent there. Let's uh, log out here and uh, let's get it with Nuzlocke. Attempt three. I have like a, a sad intro, but I didn't have uh, massive expectations there. Wait, was Nuzlocke attempt three? Was I already on that before? Oh, I think that I think I was on Nuzlocke attempt three. Okay, I guess we're on four. Jeez, <laughs> losing track of how many mods are dying here. Nuzlocke attempt four. Right, I think that makes sense actually. Actually, you know what? Here's what we're gonna do. I just had this idea literally this second. I, I had plans to do otherwise to do the, 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 the run I just described, but let's do this instead because I think it'll incentivize creativity. I'm gonna give myself 12 viewer submitted Pokemon. Um, yes, so two full teams. And what that's gonna do is that's gonna like really give me room to have creativity and really build out my team. So yes, while I'll technically be disadvantaged, because I'm playing with uh, viewer submitted mods, which aren't necessarily OU in the OU tier, I'll be able to work with it and do something. You know, it's easier to make an Armaldo work if I have a larger pool of Pokemon that can support an Armaldo and really bring out its strengths. All right, courtesy of Calculator Soup, let's see. Oh, we want 12 numbers. Yeah, let's see what we get here. Calculate. 
Wait, so there we go. 51, 50. Okay, well, let's get through it. No OU Mons, like part of the part of the original 30. That's better. We get Togekiss and Excadrill. Maybe I shouldn't have been complaining to you guys. And Skarmory and Haxorus. <laughs> okay. Oh, Ferrothorn. <laughs> I should not have been complaining. Noivern. Um, Hydreigon. Sylveon. Jeez. <laughs> Darmanitan. We can definitely find some use for Darmanitan. Um, two, five, three next. Uh, Cradilly. Shoutouts to the Lane Before Time. Rotom Mo. And then Rillaboom. Jeez. Okay. <laughs> okay. Jeez, this is going to be a run. This is going to be a run right here. A lot of mons. And now I can set my ambitions higher. Like before, the the runs before with the rules that we had established, we were really topping out at what that last one looked like. I don't, best case scenario, you're getting like 13, 14 wins. But if I've got this much of a buffer to begin with, and I get lucky with some of these picks like I did just now, then like hell yeah. Hell yeah, we can work with that. Um, that's really fun. Um, we'll see how far we can go is my point though. Like I bet we can go very deep into the ladder if we get this kind of buffer. Uh, assuming I play right, which is admittedly a pretty big assumption, but let's let's get this team into the uh, ladder right now. So just looking through this is what we got so far. And actually I realized upon writing these down that we had a Hydreigon Balerion who has already perished. It's a, it's, a, it's a dead mon, sorry to see. So we get to add one more, 138. Diggers B named, I think it was named Creepy Uncle, but I've changed it to Uncle because I don't like the implications of that. So we're just gonna do uh, a Diggers B named Uncle. Oh, and enjoy my background there. Uh, a little mishap. So, okay, let's see what kind of team we can make out of this here. Um, actually, should be the other way around. This is a bit more of a team building live, I guess. So what can we make? We got a lot of interesting stuff to work with. My first thought is I'd like to include something Rillaboom, but Rotomogus is a ton of freedom. We are probably not losing to uh, Ferrothorn between Rillaboom and Rotomo, and we got a Noivern, which will help a little bit. We got a Skarmory. Oh, that's such good news. I want to do Skarmory. Skarmory is going to give us such an easy backbone. Um, do you have any other rockers? Ferrothorn, too. It's going to be hard to include both of those immediately. Is there anyone else who'd be a rocker, or is... This is going to be our rock. I'd love it for it to be a spiker, actually. So if we can get away with giving someone else like Cradilly. I have the thought of Cradilly, honestly. We'll see what the rest of the team looks like. We've got a lot of grass types is the kind of the problem. We have three grass types, which I never thought I'd say, um, which kind of makes it difficult to build around. Um, but well, at least, I don't know what we're going to be throwing on this board. At least Defog, probably Body Press, almost certainly Roost. I'm almost certainly going to make it uh, Max Fizz Diff if that's the case. We want a bit of extra speed here so we can outspeed um, other base 70s. Uh, I'll do Rocky Helmet. We got lots of good recovery as is. Uh, we'll want some special defensive help here for sure, but this should work. Um, I think we want 248 unless I'm mistaken as well there. So we'll do that. And, um, you know, I, the more I think about it, I think I can make this Cradilly work. Um, I think we'll make it, especially if we like with Rillaboom, because I'm trying to think of a way to have Rillaboom and Cradilly. I think we can definitely make it work. And the good news about this is we can add Stealth Rock onto this one. Add Spikes like I'd love to the Skarm. He's going to punish some swaps really hard that way. And then we can just do the classic sort of monotype set of Rock Blast. So we get some answers for uh, Volcarona. We'll do Giga Drain and then Recover. Toxic is awesome on this mod. My thought with the Giga Drain is that'll help us against Rillaboom a little bit. So or that'll help pair with our Rillaboom a little bit. So if we're against an opponent and, you know, let's say you're up against... What's a good example? Like... Uh, I was going to say Heat Ram, that's, that's the worst possible example. But like uh, Urshifu, right? And you want to be able to... Oh, speaking of Urshifu, I want Storm Drain on for sure. Um, you can actually get some sizable damage off the Giga Drain. Like Giga Drain is not doing much to Urshifu outside of Grassy Terrain, but getting a 30% boost will end up being significant, I'm sure. So we get that. Um, I might change this down the road, but I'll just make this Banded with Glide and Crass Knot. That would be quite a, a play. Uh, we'll do... Glide and U-turn, of course, and knockoff, and then you have a bit of options for the last one. Woodhammer's probably my bet, and then we'll make you adamant, something crazy like that. 
And I love a leftovers rule of them too, actually. If I'm looking for survivability, it might be the play for you. Speaking of leftovers, we can't go leaving home without that here. Uh, let's do this. Boomer. Boomer Nathan emotes in the comments below, please. Speaking of the comments below, I haven't really mentioned this yet, but uh, also let me know. Um, love land before time. Let me know in the comments which ones you want to see next time. We're hoping for like lots and lots of entries every week. Uh, makes it way more fun to have a wide pool of Pokemon available. You can submit more than once. You can submit more than the same Pokemon. Um, just, you know, add some new stuff. We want this like large, diverse pool of Pokemon. I think it's very fun. Uh, so knowing this, we got these mods so far. Uh, I don't know if we need Togekiss. I like the idea of Haxorus as a sweeper. Sylveon is very interesting now. He's also used some Spadef help. I think our team is not very diverse is the weird thing, right? Like it's actually a lot of stacked types. Like Skarmory and Fairthorn are great, but like I really only need one or the other probably. Like I could fit on both, but I don't know if that's super necessary. You, you get what I'm going at there? So anyways, we'll do Exudrill actually. And I'll make it a Rapid Spinner. Um, why not? Leftovers, uh, Mold Breaker. Actually, I was second guessing myself and reading through the Smogron article, it does sound like a Spadef uh, Exodrill does give you some really positive matchups and things like Tapu Koko and Hydreigon and stuff like that. And more importantly, Tornadus. So I really like this idea. I'll do this. Uh, we will import you. Um, I'll keep Rapid Spin on for now. I like this idea. Um, it's interesting too because it's, it's because of its high base HP, you actually only want to invest into the special, uh, special defense like this. It's a Interesting idea in general. Once again, I advocated every single live, but looking through these Smogon articles, people put a lot of work into them and it shows up because that's, I was like, damn, good point. Makes more sense than a max attack mon. So yeah, we'll keep this on. And then our team is super weak to fighting types right now. So we're either looking at like a defensive Noivern, looking at our options here. A Togekiss, which is super interesting. Plus it gives us a fairy type or Sylveon. Sylveon, could we get much base uh, attack or defense on it? Is that possible? I know uh, Togekiss can get a lot of, can be a good physically defensive tank. But I wonder about you with, yeah, your HP and defense is not great. You'd be a great Spadefmon. We're kind of short up here. Oh, speaking of EVs, I forgot you. I don't think we need a ton of Spadef help. Of course, you want a diversity of tanks and stuff like that, but still, I don't know. I want Calm. I'll do minus speed. Either Sylveon or Togekiss. And you know, I'll have, I'll have the Benchmon here. I guess we should ask ourselves before we decide this slot what the sixth slot is. We'll have some sort of fairy type here, the Togekiss or Sylveon. Um, and then we can decide from there. Mm. Noivern I love. Darmanitan I love. Sort of similar to our Victini with boots that we got a ton of utility out of. Uh, but Darmanitan even with boots, with flare boots and stuff, is never long for the world if you catch my drift. <laughs> A Digger's Bee is interesting, but I think we'll save that in case uh, extra drill goes down and we need a defensive type there. Maybe just a Haxorus. Our team's slow. We can add some... We can do like this fun set if we do a Haxorus. Plus, you know, a Dragon type has actually got some decent uh, defensive utility in his own, right? So if we do something like Choice Band, hear me out. So you go for that. You go for Mold Breaker. Of course, you're going to have Close Combat, Earthquake, fine, whatever. You go First Impression. Why not? Gives you a bit of extra priority with a really strong mod, you know? Priority move with 147 uh, attack, even if it's a bug type move, 90 base power. That's pretty solid. But more importantly, if you throw in skill shot, this thing becomes a bit of a latent, like weird sweeper where you can actually get some sweeps going with just skill shot alone if you match up the opponents right there. So I will go for this. Uh, plus, like it's hacks rate choice band. Like it's going to be hitting very, very hard. Uh, my concern is admittedly fairy types. We have two steel types. But you also have trouble with fairy types. And you are just going to force out the fairy types. So I worry. Do we really need first impression? Because a poison jab would hit very nicely here. Or I could get rid of earthquake, but then Toxpex becomes a huge problem. You could get rid of close combat, but then Ferrothorn becomes a big problem. Ferrothorn's actually looking pretty nasty for our team already as it stands. So. Who do I think is more likely? A fairy type walling us or anything else? I mean, I can always earthquake a fairy type. Worst comes to worse. Guess we'll go to this one. And then, yes. So knowing that we got a Haxorus here, I think we want Togekiss because I still don't love our matchups versus a lot of steel types. And a Togekiss can throw on Flamethrower in addition to Heal Bell and stuff like that, which will help our longevity. Because like if this thing gets toxic, we're in trouble. Uh, if this thing gets burnt or this one gets burnt, we're in trouble. 
I got kind of, uh, I've been using an Umbreon team in OU lately, working on another team build with Umbreon. And uh, that's one of the greatest versatilities with Umbreon is that it's got that heal bell. So I love that a lot. Although we can also do a nasty plot on Togekiss 2, which I love the idea of. Totally taking a set here. It's been so long since I used Togekiss and overused. And once again, it gives you useful stuff at the speed. Although they're not going to tell us why we want 136 speed in this tier. Well, alas. Nasty slot airs. Okay. <laughs> Flamethrower. Don't be crazy. I was just gassing up uh, uh, Heal Bell earlier, but I think I want this. Okay. Well, there we go. Um, that's a bit of a squad right there. I'm not sure how we'll do. Oh, we lose to uh, Kyurem so badly. Kyurem and Weavile just steal our lunch money. We can handle Weavile with you, kind of. Especially with Rocky Helmet. That's a good thing. Yeah, I'm going to need a Sylveon. I take it back. I'm going to need a Sylveon. Oh, it's too bad. Because Sylveon, I worry about, like, it's a weird complaint, but I worry about, like, a strong physical attacker, like a Conkledur. Like, that would just steal our lunch money. Uh, I can throw, I'll throw on Mystical Fire here, at least, if I really want to deal with certain steel types, which I kind of do. I kind of do. Steel type just looks so scary for us right now. So look, wish protect. I'm never gonna be upset about this, but I I am scared of. Uh... Well, well, let's look let's look at the calcs first here. Let's see how this Sylveon with this specific EV spread would compare versus an average Curum versus or an average uh, fighting type. So we kind of need to do both right now, which is asking a lot to be fair. Curum swaps in against us and uses Ice Beam. We should be fine with leftovers. Really, not much of a margin for error there. We could throw in boots, but as long as we can protect, we're gonna want leftovers. So. Really not a margin for error there, but let's say a Terrakion swaps in. We're not handling them at all. So what's the point of this defense investment? Okay, so here's our box one squad ready to go. Here is our current squad ready to go. And I think we've got enough time for one game here of this new run. I'm pretty optimistic about it. Uh, let's get into it. Let's get into it. Can the team carry me deep, deep into the ladder, deeper than we've gone before? I, I want to say yeah. I want to say yeah. This is the run. Everything up until now has been a warm up for this run right here today. You guys are all on the ground floor of the biggest movement in Pokemon. And we have nothing for Victini. Oh no. <laughs> Our best Victini answer is a Haxorus. I see. Let's leave with you here. We come up against a nasty looking Cinchino here. How much are we gonna take from their attacks? Quite a bit. Let's go to Skarmory here. It's pretty much the perfect answer for it when it's max uh, Fizz Def like it is. Glad we got the triple axle. They've actually got um, uh, protective pads of all things. That's not something I expected. Now I have to play in such a way to predict my opponent here. Uh, I'm assuming they're not gonna swat, stay in here. They might U-turn out. So I want to go to Hector here to prevent uh, a Thunderous play. Um, but Thunderous, I guess if we see, we can go to Littlefoot would handle it okay. You know, Focus Blast is obviously a risk. But we can handle it okay. So I can I'm, I can go for a Spike right now. There it is. Sure enough, we could also go to Sylveon actually. Um, let's 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 go to let's go to Credilly right now. If they nasty plot, then we'll see what's up. Sure enough, they do. Can I take a Focus Blast? I've got ridiculously high speed death. Plus, they could miss. It's a coin flip for hitting two uh, Focus Blasts in a row here. There we go. There we go. Let's see what we get. Oh, great damage. Two. I think we still live this. We got to go for it. No way. Littlefoot died instantly. Oh, that is so sad. That is so sad. Oh, my God. Um, That's tragic. I don't think Rillaboom can even uh, revenge kill right now. Oh my gosh, that was such, I was actually had such high hopes for it. We got a lot of grass types. It's not the end of the world if I had to lose someone, but that's that hurts so much. Grassy Glide gonna do 62. Like okay, so I wasn't crazy to look it up there. They've got 56 health. Uh, the odds are 75% chance. I don't even know if they can Oko me. I think they'd have to Focus Blast again here, unless I'm mistaken. They don't have Nasty uh, or uh, Hidden Power Ice, obviously. So I'm, I'm actually stunned it can kill for the record. Let's just put that out there. The fact that, that we can go in as a revenge kill right now, disgusting. 
utterly disgusting that that just occurred. I hate everything that just happened. But here's the other concerned. Here is the other concern. Let's go to you. You should handle one. You should handle one. If they glaciate, I'll cry. Okay, that's good. Um, that grassy ring probably takes us out of range too, which is good news. We know their boots, so I know I'm faster than them. I think we go for the win. Oh boy. Well, here's actually the scary part. If I, let's say I hit first, which I should, and I scale shot and I don't kill, my defense will drop and this next speed crate will certainly kill. That's actually the more scary bit. Well, I don't really want to be a Calkin Clark, but let's take a quick, let's take a quick look at this for a second. Hold on. So it, if we get a three shot, it's pretty unlikely we kill. We probably want a four hit. Actually, I don't even know if Earthquake will kill with Grassy Terrain is the worst bit of it. I think I got to go for it. I think I got to go for it. And I, I don't really have another play. Rillaboom couldn't stay in there. Sylveon is dusted. You die, you die. We got to go for it. We got to go for it. One, two, three. I need a four. I need a four. No! Oh. Interesting. <laughs> Interesting. They had the kill. <laughs> um, so we're fine. We're fine. As long as this doesn't miss. Did they just throw it? The question is to go to Sincino and threaten um, a fake out or something. I don't know if it gets fake out. Oh, they're definitely threatening it, whatever they're doing here. Oh, it's risky. But uh, let's go Let's go to Skarmory. Oh, I had the kill. Oh, they, hit, they got hit by spikes. They could, I think they're probably abandoned, to be clear. But I probably had the win. That's disappointing. But um, let's roost. I don't think we have a ton of threat anymore. Uh, let's get them spikes. We're trying to go for a uh, Riddleboom win, which is going to be hard when we got a four times resist here. But we'll keep this up. Um, I'll body press this guy eventually. Actually, we could be looking at uh, a Skarmory win. Oh, wait, we know they're not spikes. We know they're protective pads. That's right. That's right. So I I probably had the win there with Haxorus, but the way they came in confidently and took spikes damage just scared me. I should have known uh, off this triple axel turn one. My bad. My bad. In comes Garchomp. This is a pretty ideal matchup for us here, unless they whip out a Life Orb Fire Blast. Uh, fine by me. Rocky Helmet, a little bit less ideal. Um, let's... No, let's not get crazy. Let's not second guess ourselves here. Playing it very safe. Oh, wow. Huh. Well, now I can swap out. Uh... I'd like to get rid of rocks with uh, extra drill, but there's no way I'm, I'm, I'm playing that silly. Here we go. Not to mention Hyper Voice has just got a great matchup. Uh, Sinchino might not die, but between that and Spike, it's taking a million. Crocodile dies, you die. Everybody and their grandmother dies. Uh, this thing's a defensive uh, guard chomp. No, I was, gonna say, I, was, I was trying to talk myself into it. I was trying to talk myself into staying in with Sylveon. But why, why bother? Why bother? Uh, okay. I mean, I don't really get the objective here. I should have body pressed again. Because I'm just going to be stuck in the same loop now. But, oh well. Uh, let's see. They should be resting right now. If they are playing like I expect them to. So I'll roost here as they do that. And we'll go back to you. So it all works out. I could also, if I was being super defensive, go to my extra drill and rapid spin and just kind of then go back to Skarmory again and kind of renew the whole situation. But I think Sylveon works. Uh, it's a leftovers Sylveon. So it'll be back up to full with leftovers by the time we're, have, we're forced to swap it out again. Uh, we'll go for Hyper Voice here. Uh, and then we will... I want to go to Excadrill, actually. You. You. Say toxic. I'll go to you as they rest. <laughs> They're, I'm not the one stalling here. They're the one doing this. I just can't have a Mon die, to be clear. I'm not the crazy one here. So this should get the kill finally. Again, they don't have a swap in. There's a world where I stay in with this Sylveon and just win, but I'm not risking it with this Sinchino. But okay, here we'll get this off. How much does it do? Kills. Jeez, that's the benefit of Sylveon. For a Mon with. 400 400 uh hp and special defense the fact that it hits that hard is very pleasing um 
It's kind of like the benefit of Toxapex in a weird way. Toxapex doesn't hit hard, but it's extremely threatening when you consider, uh, there we go, geez. We consider how like damaging Scald is. Like you just, you have to be very careful around it. Um, I can risk this too. Yeah, geez. Okay, so we're gonna take the win. Um, we lose Littlefoot there. That's really sad, but we're gonna get two Mons. Maybe being too generous to myself, two Mons plus 12 to start. There's a world where I'm being way too generous to myself. We'll give myself two for this one, but tell you what, not only in the comments do I want you to let me know which Mons you wanna see next, but please also let me know if you think I should keep it at one or two. The benefit of two is it lets me do creative team builds and it lets me like go further in the Nuzlocke, of course. I think we will need two later in the ladder, but it might not be as challenging. Again, I've, I've, got, I've got a lot going for me right now, but again, even then I lost my Cradilly there. So again, so please let me know in the comments if you think I should maintain uh, two mods for every win or do it for one. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna save it for the next live for what I draw uh, my new Pokemon to be. So that will decide that then whether I draw one or two off that win. So long, Littlefoot. You were very great for us. We'll uh, hopefully get another rocker for you next time. Uh, that's gonna be us done. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you next time. Take it easy.